Hi guys, so for today's video, we are going to make a jigsaw using some very simple materials. So the first thing we're going to use is cardboard. So what I'm using is an old cereal box. Then some Pritt stick or some PVA glue. My Pritt stick has run out, so I'm going to use PVA glue with a paintbrush. We're going to need some paper. This is some A4 paper that I folded in half and I'm going to cut it. Or we can take a page from our colouring book. So the first thing we're going to do to make our jigsaws, well, I'm going to show you now. I'm going to show you what we're going to make. So here's one I made earlier. This is a jigsaw. This is, this is the one with the colouring book that I've cut out. And this is a picture that I've drawn myself. Just like our drawings that we did the other day, but I've made a cat. Remember we did the mouse and we did the goat and we did the bear. And I've also added some letters to the top of this one. C-A-T spell. That's right, cat. So you can make it a little bit harder like this and you can do 15 pieces. Or you can do it a little bit simpler and you can do, that's right, nine pieces. So for the... Bigger one, we would need to draw one, two, three, four lines across and one, two, two lines down. And for the kangaroo, we need to draw one, two lines across and one, two, two lines down. OK, right, let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to move these out of the way. I'm going to show you a little trick that I did with them at the end as well to help me put them together. So the first thing I'm going to do, if I wanted to draw, I would take my A4 sheet, fold it in half, press it down, and then I cut along this line. Okay, so we cut that in half, and then I'd have this sheet of paper, and I would draw my picture. So my picture was a cat. So I drew a circle, I drew two triangles, a body, a tail of a triangle and two feet and wrote cat at the top. So if you want to take the easy way out, you can take a piece of page, a page from your colouring book and use this instead. So today I'm going to use the little girl who's at school. The teacher, I think she is, is she? So... That's about the same size, but it doesn't really matter. If you have a big sheet, that's fine too, so long as it fits onto your cardboard. And you could always tr trim off the top and the bottom if you feel like it's too big, okay? So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to color in our picture, okay? So like the other day now, I'm going to color in really super speedy fast, but you can take your time. So I like purple and I like orange for her dress. So you can draw a cat or you can draw any of the other animals or you can draw a picture like this or anything that you like. And I'm going to give her lovely red hair. And you can use any crayons and any pencils that you have at home, okay? So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give her some green bows and clips and I'm going to give her some purple boots and you can do whatever colours you like. Okay and we're just going to colour the flower pot. Color the flowers. Let me color some blue flowers. And I'm going to color the leaves green. Okay, so now you could add more colors to your picture if you like, but that's my picture so far. Okay, so it's pretty simple. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to put my picture to the side. I'm going to take my cardboard box and open to the bottom of it. And now an adult can help you with this. 
So you're going to, well, you can just tear open the side of it here now too. It's very easy to open these cardboard boxes. You flatten it out on your desk. So I know I just need one side of it. Put my page down. Yeah, that's going to be big enough. So I'm going to cut it here along this line. Okay, just so that it's smaller. And I can cut off the other edge too. Just for now. And we can trim up around the edge then at the end. I'll pop that down there. And it doesn't have to be too neat. It can be as rough as you like in this part. And then we'll trim around when we have our page stuck on. So the cereal box is good because it's got some nice lines on it to help you, to, to guide you to cut for some of our older children who are able to use the scissors. Now, so we're going to measure up. So we put our page right to the edge, right to the edge. And the next thing we're going to do, we're going to take our pen and we're just going to draw around the page, okay? Can you see that there? Let me just pull it back a bit for you. So you're just going to draw. Now you could get your ruler and do, use your ruler for this. But if you go really slow, you should do it nice and neatly. Holding the page and then just draw straight down the edge. Now, so now you have the shape on your cardboard. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to cut this out. Cut out this shape. What do you think we're going to do next? When we cut out this shape, what do you think we might do next? We're going to stick our Pritt stick or our PVA glue, whatever you have at home, onto the cardboard, just like this. So you make sure that it's spread out nice and evenly. Nice and evenly because you don't want any lumps. You want the glue to dry very quickly. So pushing it right out to the edge. You have to make sure that every single part of the page is covered in glue. Because you want all of the paper to stick. You don't want it to come apart when you cut it off. Stick, stick, stick. Making sure everywhere is covered in glue. And like I said, if you have any bit at the edge, when you stick it on, you'll see and you'll be able to cut it out. If there's any leftover cardboard at the edge sticking out, you can cut that bit off. But if you draw around it, you should be able to get it exactly right. So you're spreading it out, making sure your Pritt stick or your PVA glue is not too thick. You don't want to use too much glue. So now I'm just going to take another small little bit for the top, just up along here. Another little small bit there for the corner. Now, all of my cardboard is covered in glue. So the next thing I'm going to do is, I'm going to take my page, and Mommy and Daddy will help you with this. We're going to measure it up to this, the very edge of the cardboard. Measure it up as tight as you can. But don't worry, you can always cut off the excess. And you're going to just smooth it out, making sure you have no bubbles. That's it, smooth it out, okay? Now, the next thing we're going to do, just to give us a little hand when we're putting it back together. Now, the big boys might need to do this, but this is something I found handy myself, was. So, it doesn't have to be the exact same, but this one I'm going to cut it the same as the uh, kangaroo that I did. So I'm going to have nine pieces. So it's going to be a bigger one. Now, if you have a bigger page, um, you might like to cut some more lines and squares out of it. But this one, I'm going to keep it nice and simple. Now, do you see the way I have an extra little bit hanging off there at the top? So I'm just going to cut that off with my scissors. I'm going to cut it straight across there now. Trim it all off. 
just so that all the, the paper is on the cardboard. So I'm going to get rid of that. And there's a little bit then at the end that I'm just going to trim off as well, just so that it's all nice and straight and neat. Now, so that's perfect. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this piece of cardboard because I don't have a ruler. I'm going to use this as my ruler and I'm going to mark out I'm going to look and see, so there's going to be maybe one, two, three lines on this. So I'm going to mark out one, two. So sorry, we only need two because we're going to have one, two, three sections if we make two lines. And we're going to do one. And then we're going to do another one at the other side, or we can move it over and we're going to have, keeping them all approximately the same. And we're going to do the same then on the other side. Actually, no, we're not. We're going to do it this way. One, I'm going to write the numbers on the back. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So then when I'm putting it back together, if I get confused, I'll just have to look at the back of the jigsaw and I'll know how to put it back together. So the next thing I'm going to do then is I'm going to cut along the lines, okay? Now, you could let the glue dry for a while if you wanted to come back to it. But I've tried it a couple of times now and it seems to be okay and it seems to be holding. So just cut along the lines. Cut it all out. I'm going to speed it up so that you can see. Do you go nice and carefully if you're using the scissors or else ask an adult. Always have an adult supervising when you're using scissors. And they don't all have to be the same size or shape but it's handy if they are so now this is the fun part let's push all our materials to the side and let's try and piece it back together without looking at the numbers so can you help me so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look for her head so this is the little girl's head there's another part of her head there so I'm going to join those together what else? Where, what other pieces can I use? What comes after her head? There's her body. Where's the rest of her body? Maybe her legs. So maybe, is it this part? Am I right? And we look for her other leg. Yeah, there's her other leg. And she was pointing at a board, wasn't she? Oh look, here, we can see there's more flowers. So maybe join the flowers. I have some flowers here. Um, maybe the rest of her hair. Does that join up? Yeah, that joins up. And that joins up right there. Now, what about, oh look, there's the rest of the flowers, so I can join them up there. And the last piece is the top of the ABCs. So now, that's my jigsaw made and all joined together. Can you make your jigsaw? And like I said, if you want to make it a little bit more difficult, you can write some words on it. You can cut it in more lines and you can cut it in different shapes too. If you wanted to take this and make it a little bit more difficult, you could cut it straight up to meet the edge and have some triangle shapes. And you could do that with every piece of the jigsaw and that would make it a little bit more difficult to put back together. Because then you would have 18 pieces. So just cut it in triangles. And then you would have 18 pieces to put back together. Okay, have fun. If you draw something or you make a jigsaw, I'd love to see it. So please do share it. Talk to you later. Bye for now.